Hello. Okay, we're doing this video a couple days early or maybe late if you consider some of the other videos I did first or whatever. Um, but hey, they just sent out emails regarding this leather. So here is a semi fake unboxing because well, I already had to open the box and try them on and get a thumbnail photo. Uh, <laughs> but nevertheless, for those of you who know the drill, if you've seen the Previous videos, I've done Truman boots before. Now, again, they're kind of a PNW brand that's not a true Pacific Northwest brand or whatever because they don't have the same, you know, arch support and they're not mega logger stack boots and whatnot. But uh, so we got the same card. Uh, you know, where it all begins, each scrape and scuff part of the journey boots made for walking and walking or sorry and working and hiking and wandering uh, and again the back of the card that is way more than i'm going to read on a video uh so without too much ado although i'll try and show over the box you know i already ripped the paper a little bit uh the rawhide laces I did buy a couple of doohickeys to go with this. This was probably the closest color I think I could have gotten, although, as you'll see in a minute, the tongue is actually more of an ox blood. Uh, separate laces. So what we have, like I said, the, the gusset, also different than, you know, the, the heavy duty boots. The gusset doesn't go all the way to the top, but we do have the alternate thing. Like I said, these don't come with a, a lace protector. So I went ahead and ordered some of those from another company to have them. But these are also not the walnut bison color that I kind of wanted more. Some of you... If you looked on other websites, there's olive and some other colors, but this is pretty close. I wanted kind of a tan boot, and I wanted kind of a bison boot, so I kind of ended up with a little bit lighter color bison boot. Not quite a tan boot. So here we have the four speed hooks, the mini lugs instead of the full lugs. Uh... A little bit like again wider heel stack than the, the taller narrower logger um you know we got the double stitching around the back counter now these boots can run i always say they run true to size they they vary a little bit on the snugness that other pair that i was wearing the other day they were a little bit a little bit snug especially my left i think my left foot is bigger than my right one so i feel it a little bit more so sometimes i think they need to stretch in a little bit and maybe not have as much of the toe room as, you know, your results may vary. So whether you know, you want to go up a half a size or whatever, or a width or whatever, you'll have to kind of negotiate that. Um, I, like I said, I've had pretty good luck with these feeling pretty accurate for the fit that I expect or mostly want. So I haven't had any real complaints, but I also haven't gotten to wear them all extensively because I've been doing those other head-to-head -head videos and things that make me wearing $100 boots instead of nice boots <laughs> more often than I would necessarily choose. Although I wore the other ones, the Charcoal Grizzly, I think it was, the other day and didn't have any significant problems rubbing on my old blisters from the other week or anything, which is mostly healed but still kind of scabby not to be too <laughs> graphic on a video about a different boot entirely. But, uh, so I'm, I would have done that video before I'm doing this video, but like I said, their email kind of went out. So now I'm kind of like, okay, rush out a video and fine. Instead of doing this on Thursday or Sunday, I'm doing it on Tuesday. So whatever, good enough. And you can all see it in its glory and compare that. Oh, I got a bad one. 
<laughs> Two shoes, good to go. And this leather should last well past I'm deceased, right? Maybe not quite that one. And there's a lot of character. There's a lot of, you know, this and that. I got the eight inch height instead of the six inch height again, because I prefer the more ankle support and all that. Um, so yeah, you know, if you wanted to get the lower, more standard boot, you'd be more like that height. And, uh, the yellow stitching, of course, kind of a trademark, I guess. And I don't know what else to say. Uh, if, you know, there's any questions and all that. Otherwise, I think, you know, pretty good looking boot. So that that's uh, one that I can throw in the mix soon.